Kia my hair, uno no uno sell. Them have a little house and a little care, them want a couple, couple more house. And when I watch the video, them with a the voice note, them. I me hear the youth say, sell. sell. Cheers. And so basically, we did some more updates on the YouTube couple Geo and Ken. You know what I mean? Tavi Zoe explained to you Geo and Ken are up there. You know what I mean? And she also have proof with Geo and Ken scamming. Guys, definitely watch until the end so we can give you all these quick updates with the new secrets and reviews and even the meaning behind the things you missed. Oh, and don't make the thumbnail fool, you know, I'm just put it there because I eat at the hot topic for the tone and them like a summer there. I don't know if they are actually doing it, but when I watch the voice note for all who know me, I talk and who know me, I talk. But when I watch the video, them with a the voice note, them. Once all this is in place, they could proceed to steal thousands of dollars on a daily basis within seconds like it's nothing. But in order to fully understand how these scams are pulled off by fraudsters, Let's take a brief look into some interesting cases involving Zelfro. Wednesday, December 4th, 20... One second, guys. My have to say something. So, we get to understand, say, like, if somebody's gonna scam me through Zell, and I've been hearing that name, Zell, Zell, or they might ask say, yo, you have Chase. So, basically, we get to understand is Chase is a bank. Chase is a bank where they are foreign, as I said before, and Zell is a money transfer app like cash app i know people can't scam me through cash app and zelle and so apple pay yo me never know about apple pay till me hear the scammer and the chopper them talk about apple pay like what guys listen these things these app them connected to your bank account whether your bank they're foreign or jamaica you know like them find some unscrupulous way of hijacking the apps and tampering with your money because you know the app can to your bank and them find a way off to do that and hook out your money and take your money out and take your ass money no i'm concerned why would somebody be asking you for your login it really doesn't matter if somebody asks you yo oh Give me a login because I need to watch, I need to see the history of your transactions for, for know if um if it's real or if it's see if you're eligible or them something that can them something they're not correct. First of all, bank always tell us say don't give nobody your login. So guys, nobody not supposed to have your login your password, none of the above. Nobody not supposed to see it. You get what I'm saying? If you're not eligible, you're just not eligible for whatever that is. But the point is that